guys, it's Tanya. I am coming back to show you um, the supplies that we're going to need because we are going to make a folio. And um, I will link the Tim Holtz folio that I made um, a couple weeks ago. I am going to try and make a folio similar to the one that I made in that video. I will have to definitely probably change up some things, but hopefully it'll be pretty um, similar. So um, hopefully that'll be okay. Um, so first, what you're going to need. The first thing that we are going to need is for the, even though I use that marbling book, I don't know if everybody can get it, but I do know that pretty much everybody can get the Tim Holtz um, backdrops. Um, I know my light is kind of weird, so I know you probably can't see the writing on there, but it's the ideology and it's the backdrops, and I bought two of them. Um, string. Um, I bought two of them because that is just me, and I wanted this paper in there so that's why I bought two of them okay so this is going to be our cover and then with that along with that um I got the velvet trims because I want to use one of these greens for the um trim piece I don't know which one yet and then I have um this um Tim Holtz fabric um that he sent me a while ago I've just been kind of holding on to it because I love green and I love this one so much, but I'm going to use it. Um, you do not have to use this. You can use whatever coordinating fabric you want. You can dye you some. It does not matter, but this is what I'm using. And um, this fabric, uh, I know that they sell it on Etsy. I will look for the name and I'll try to link it below. So just in case you want to, um, to get it. And then we are going to be using um, Memorandum, and I am going to be using Vellum, and I got this from Hobby Lobby, and I am going to be using Acetate, and I do not know, oh y'all, I have paper and everything stuck to this, um, I do not know the weight of this, but I got this from Michaels, um, and it's a 12 by 12 sheet, okay? And I, I have a, okay, gross. Okay, so I have a um, Tyvek envelope. Um, I just bought a box. I, I bought a box, guys, of envelopes because I knew I was going to be using them. And then I have um, two, uh, two heavyweight um, chipboard pieces. And that is what we're going to be using. Um, everything else, I'm going to try to keep it to Tim Holtz. Oh, we're going to definitely need the Tim Holtz. Um, and I should have, I'm sorry, I should have had this out. Definitely, you're going to need the Tim Holtz um, fabric washi. This is how we're going to hold everything together. Um, I know he has um, two. Um, I think he retired one of them. Um, this one is thicker than the other one was. So this is the one I got. Um, I got this from Joanne. So you're definitely going to need this for the folio part because we're going to use the tab binding um, for that part. Okay, so that is that. And so let's get on to making the cover. Okay, guys, so I already cut one of them out. Now, what I did was I just took my, um, this is eight and a half by 11. I don't know if I said that chipboard, heavyweight chipboard. And I just took my cover or my um, piece of cardstock and I just laid it on there and I traced it now for those of you guys that um, love to measure I got a new ruler can you see that it has all the uh, measurements on there so I can kind of tell you guys so it is and I know you guys won't be able to see it because of the light so the book is probably going to measure about five and seven eighths and um nine and fifteen sorry you can we'll, we can round it up to ten okay so five by ten roughly okay and then so what I what I'm doing what I'm doing is I am going to trace this out and I'm going to make another one of these real quick I'm going to um Okay. 
Okay guys, so we are back and we're going to do our spine piece. So what I did was I just took a piece of my paper pad, the backing or the front, it doesn't matter. Um, and the reason why I used it because it is a lightweight chipboard um, and I like the, the flexibility of it. I am taking my um, tie back, I'm going to line it up there like this. Um, Okay, and I'm going to use this pen so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to trace on the side just like this. Maybe if my pen works, but you guys get the gist. Okay, and I'm going to do this side like this. Okay, so now you know where your mark is, right? Okay, so this is the line that we have. I mean, hopefully you can see that. Okay, then I just made myself a spacer. Um, so it'll be even on both sides of my spine. Um, it is one eighth of an inch. So I am going to put that right next to this, just like that. And I am going to make a line right there. Just a little mark like that, okay? And I'm gonna do this side. Okay, line it up and do this side. You do not have to take all these steps like I'm doing, but it helps me, okay? So you see those two lines? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, you're like dog, Tanya, you got a lot of steps. I am gonna cut it even and cut it even along here. And I'm gonna take it to my scoreboard and I'm gonna score this line and I'm gonna score this line. I am gonna leave maybe, let's see, from this line, I'm going to leave maybe um, an inch because you want that to um, be able to hold onto your book, right? So I'm going to mark an inch onto this side, okay? And there you go. So I'm going to cut everything up. I'm going to score everything, and then I will be back so you guys can see it. Okay, guys, so I have scored everything up, and... You see where I scored it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over so that you can see the score marks really good, right? Okay. And then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, heavyweight cardstock, or not cardstock, chipboard, and I am going to lay it right in between that. You see that? So then this way, so you guys can see what I'm doing, the chipboard is going to go right here. You see that? and you have the perfect gussets on either side, right? And that way, um, yeah, they're even and you don't have to worry about it because you have your spacer and everything like that. And I hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing, which you probably can't see what I'm doing because it's white, but I'll hold it up to the camera once I get to that point. But, so, okay, so. Let's fold it. So I folded mine this way, okay, like that, right? So now, you see this line right here? And you can fold these if you want to, to make it like a little bit easier for you. You can fold them. Um, where that fold mark is, you're going to line that up just like that. See that? And then that way, you have the perfect... Um, it. And you might be like, well, one eighth of an inch is a lot. It might seem like a lot, but once you put everything in there, you want everything to lay flat, it is the perfect amount um, of space. I, I believe that's one eighth of an inch. I'm, it's one fourth of an inch, y'all. I'm telling y'all, one eighth of an inch is one fourth of an inch. Um, yeah, but one fourth of an inch is perfect. Um, it is a perfect amount. And yeah, so that's how we're going to do it. Okay, so that's how you're going to do it. So if you wanted to be, you know, all daring and, you know, make it look really, really, you know, like an old, old book. And um, me, I'm not going to do this. But if you wanted to, you could take your, um, your craft knife and you can like score down there and like bend it and everything like that and you know curve it over and all that stuff but you know your girl she ain't doing that so we're just gonna make a a regular book okay so uh I have um what is that score tape 
but I know a lot of people don't have square tape so I am going to just use my Fabri-Tac um, to do this and I am just going to glue it down just like this and you know what if you did not have Tyvek what else can you use you can use um, fabric you can use cardstock and just reinforce your spine with um, masking tape that will work or fabric um, it will be perfect I mean it'll work so if you don't have it no worries so make sure everything is lined up right okay perfect okay so now you have your spine piece and good to go right um for some reason I glued that on wrong I don't know why I did that y'all I'm always messing up something so we're just gonna flip it over on this side Ugh, no big deal okay so that is how it's gonna go okay but before I do that I have everything I have my piece and it doesn't matter if it's on the back side or the front side it does not matter um, it'll work just the same I am going to glue this down now okay so some people might say Tanya why didn't you use you can use um, we're going to need a, a file or you can use sandpaper but I'm just going to use my file um, emery board is that what it's called emery board okay so some people might say Tanya why didn't you um, use Mod Podge well guys me and Mod Podge we do not mix <laughs> so I'm just letting you know that right now I, I rarely ever use like the liquid like the one that you have to brush on I don't use it because it does not like me and I do, I do not like it so I will spray it at the end with the, the Mod Podge sealer spray and then I will seal the edges okay so but if you are a Mod Podge fan and you can get it to work for you please use Mod Podge it it will work okay but me your girl and Mod Podge we do not mix at all so that's why I'm not using Mod Podge okay so we're just gonna do it like this and I do it like that I am not worried about the um, the frayed edges right now because we're going to fix that. Okay, so the next step is to do the other one. Let this dry just a little bit. Okay. Okay, guys. So my um, board is glued down. Right. So now I'm going to take my um, file folder. File folder. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take my nail filer. The, and I am just going to sand these down like this you know really easy you know and then what I'm going to do is I am going to start sanding just like this sanding the corners so that the paper can look like is um you see how it's looking starting to look like it's embedded in that um I'm gonna bring it down because it uh, if I if I do it up close it'll be really blurry. But um, so it'll look like and I'm shaking the table, Tanya. Um, look like it's embedded in there, right? So that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to do that on all my edges, and you see how it's starting to look, right? Cute, right? So it looks so cute. Okay, so we're gonna do that to all my edges. Um, you don't really have to do it to this edge, but. I do it to that edge anyway because I have a tendency to put things upside down and backwards so I just do it to all my edges so I'm going to do it to both of these and we will be back and I'm going to show you how I'm going to ink it and then we can try to put oh and I'm going to iron my um, fabric because I am extra like that and I like it to be ironed okay guys so we have everything sanded and this is what it looks like all sanded down 
and I am going to take my um, ink pad. I'm using a vintage photo, um, but you can use whatever color you want, and I am just going to ink around it just like that, and I love how it looks. Hold on, let me show you uh, real quick. Um, the ink pad that's really, you know, juicy because sometimes you know your ink pads don't so you know this is how it looks and that looks so cute okay so I'm gonna ink it up okay now that everything is inked up isn't that pretty doesn't it look so nice okay so I am going to use my scrapbook.com double-sided tape because I know it works and um, I just like to use it better so um, better than Fabri-Tac for this. No, no reason I use Fabri-Tac too, but mm, I'm going to use this. I don't know why. Just because. Because I have it, maybe. So I'll put a little bit of both on there. So this is what it's going to look like, right? So we're going to lay it on each side just like that. Okay? Just like that. So we're going to take our... Um, oh my gosh, this stuff is so sticky. Right, just lay it up there like this. And I'll put it in the middle because I don't, I don't know if I have one big enough, but it doesn't matter. I'll do that one. Do this side. Uh -oh. That is your book just like that right okay so now um, with this what I should have did but I didn't um, I'm gonna put it in the inside first okay um, I am going to measure so we have our spine piece which is three inches right and you can totally do this when um, you don't put it on there but I didn't do that Okay, so we have um, three inches, okay? So we want to measure the three inches plus an inch, inch, three, four, five. So it's five inches, but um, you want to measure five inches, just like that. And you want to make sure that you have enough on either side, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I am going to take my, um, what is that thing? Um, rotary cutter is that yeah <laughs> rotary cutter and I am going to cut a clean line um, so it can be even I'm going to make sure that I have enough hanging on this side so I can wrap it over like that you know so maybe um, an inch on either side so like this so like an inch like that and an inch on that and then I'm going to cut this to be five inches give or take I might do six inches because I want to make sure that I have enough on either side so I'm going to do um, to where it's six inches across and I don't know how long I'm going to cut it just so I know that I have enough so this is 10 inches so maybe 12 12 inches long okay that that should work okay so I will be back I'm Okay guys, so I have cut my fabric, so I haven't did anything yet. Um, let's move this string, make sure there's nothing stuck in there. Okay, so what I was doing, um, 
I'm just trying to make sure I have enough fabric on either side, okay, before I before I glue anything down. So I have an inch on this side, not quite an inch on this side, so I'm going to move it over to make sure they're pretty even on either side. Mm. Yeah, okay. And then once you figure out that you have it um, pretty much even on either side, what you want to do is I usually just take my finger and I just like kind of crease it like that so you know um, where your crease marks are going to go. Know that you got, you know, enough on both sides, you know, so it doesn't look bad. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I know that's not the... Oh, that's the Tanya way of doing it. So, so now you see the crease marks, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Fabri-Tac and you totally can do Mod Podge, but you guys know how my relationship with Mod Podge goes. So I am going to do um, Fabri-Tac. Now, once I use the Fabri-Tac, and, and this is how I do mine, I just usually um, peel that back like that and I just glue that um, center really good. I mean, I like try to put glue on every little inch. And then you know what you could do? You can use double-sided tape too. It works really good too for this. Um, for laying your fabric down as well. But I'm going to use Mod Podge. And I'm not Mod Podge, but what is this stuff? fabric tap. That's what happens when you talk through videos. So we're going to just um, slather it on there really, really good. Almost like that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to make sure that I don't have any um, glops because, you know, um, it uh, seep through your fabric. So you don't want it to seep through your fabric. So, and I, you see it, how it's already kind of like wrinkling up. So you're just going to take it, smooth it down. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to glue the sides down. And then once we glue the sides down, we will glue this piece down. So make sure you don't have any... Oh my gosh, my head keeps hitting my um, tripod. I'm sorry. Uh... Make sure you don't have any lumps in there. I'm just smoothing it down like that. And there you go. That is your spine. Right? Okay. Okay, guys. I'm going to show you how to do the other side. So what I do is I just put some glue down that middle piece, like right here. And then I just go out and put glue. And you can totally put it um I don't put it all the way to the edge because you know when you your glue you know it spreads out so um just smother it like I mean smear it like that and then we're just gonna go like this and then we're gonna take um your bone folder and you're just gonna crease it just like this so you have that really pretty indent line, like that. Just like that. And then you want to make sure all of it's glued down. And then you can always peel it back up if it's not, if you don't have enough glue in there. And then just go at it some more. Okay? So we're going to do the other side and it should be good to go. All right. Okay. All right. So you have your cover. And you can like keep working that indention in there like this. 
so to, you know, look really good and smooth. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your fabric and you're just going to glue it to this part. Really, really easy. Just like that, okay? You're just going to glue it really good. And just really good. I'm going to glue that. All right. Um, there we go. Like that. All right. Okay. Guys, I don't know why I made this three inches. Now I'm like, oh my God, I've got to fill that up. But I'll be able to, right? Okay. 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 And that is the basis for your folio right there. That's how it looks. Okay. And you might see like some lumps in there. If you don't like it, you know, you just keep pressing, make that glue get all in there and then you can go over it like I said with Mod Podge if that makes you feel better um, to smooth everything down um, too you know especially the um, this part you can go over it with Mod Podge I like it because it's a flexible um, part so um, the trims okay so with the trim um, real quick uh, now, um, yeah, let's cut this off. And yeah, I know it's not all the way glued down, but I'll glue it down some more. I'll go back and glue it down some more. So with the trim, I don't know which one I want to use yet. I don't know which green I want to use, guys. Aww. Decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to go with the dark green, right? That looks really pretty. Glue that down. And um, really easy, guys. That's a real easy thing to do. So I'm gonna make sure I got all this glue down um, like this. Make sure everything is glued down. Like that, like that, and then I am gonna take this and I am going to try to do it with a steady hand and I probably should have used score tape. I don't know what I was thinking, but I probably should have. And we're just going to do it like this and put it on there like that. Perfect. Right? Just like that. And then we're going to just fold it over like this. And we're going to do the other one. And I will come back to show you what the cover looks like okay guys so we are done with the cover and this is what it looks like I am going to spray it with my Mod Podge spray and let this dry and then um, we will in we will be working on the um, inside in the next video so I think I'm going to do I'm going to show you how to cover the inside and then we're going to start on whatever panel first okay we're going to do a panel at a time so I might end up doing maybe four videos if that's okay um, just depending we might get fun we might get done faster so um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it wasn't too long um, let me know what you guys think and yeah so have a blessed day guys bye